Hi guys, in this video we're going to be doing a piano tutorial on the song Here With Me by Marshmallow. Check it out. My name is Diego from the Hit Music Studio and in this channel we regularly do song tutorials and videos with tips and techniques to get you guys to learn music the fastest and the easiest way possible. So let's go to a close-up of the piano so we can get started. This song has three parts. Uh, the first one is fairly probably the easiest one. So let's go ahead and start with that. It's going to be E flat, B flat, followed by C, G. That's going to repeat three times. So the rhythm for that is going to be E flat, B flat, C, G. That repeats three times. So not particularly hard, probably pinky on that E flat on the top. Now, right after you do it three times, you're going to do A flat, B flat. And then you're going to do two chords, which is going to be a B flat major, F, B flat, D flat, 2, G, B flat, E flat. So that part would sound A flat, B flat, then chord, chord. So let me play that whole section, uh, which is, I guess, the beginning of the song. By the way, I'm playing it on piano. The song originally has guitar, but I like to do these tutorials in a way that if you are a piano player, you can play it. And at the same time, maybe you can get a singer to do it with you. So it sounds... Now, when you play that, super important, you're not playing on the ones. You, so you go one, three, four, one. So it's uh, anticipated and it doesn't land on the ones. Now, let me go ahead and show you the left hand. The left hand is going to be C, G, then A flat, E flat. Important probably to do finger one on C and the pinky down here on that E flat so you can cover all of the notes. That also is going to go three times. So C, G, a flat, E flat, three times of that. The last time is going to change to F, G, B flat, E flat. So let me play it only left hand as well. So on this one, we do go on the ones. Three, four, so one, two, three, four, three, four. Here it changes to flat E flat now let me go ahead and play that with two hands so you guys can see it in context uh, important probably there on the fingers uh, to do pinky on the bottom and uh, C with finger one you don't want to be doing this type of stuff because it's very easy to make mistakes if you're using one finger and moving it a lot so whenever you whenever possible I think it's good to keep one hand in one place and use all of the fingers that you can so let me play with two hands Let me mention as well that my keyboard is transposed. The song originally goes to the left, so this will be middle C and I'm playing the chords down here, but I have it transposed uh, in a way that I can play more in the center of the keyboard so you can see the shot a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and jump to the second section. The second section is gonna be very similar. Now we're playing two notes on the right hand and we are doing them on the downbeat. So it sounds like this. Now that's going to be C, E flat, then G and B flat. So twice on the first one, second one holds A flat and C twice, one time on E and E flat and G. My suggestion would be to practice just that section first. So and that's going to repeat three times. going now let me show you when it changes when it changes it's going to be e flat d b flat 
and then you're gonna go to do F and B flat, which it's F and B flat together, a D by itself, and then this chord. So that little change, which is the end of the section, would be E flat, D, B flat, and then this. And again, that doesn't repeat but I'm playing twice so you get the idea. So let me go ahead and play that, which will be like almost like I guess section two uh, with uh, just the right hand, but the complete section. So the left hand doesn't really change, it's uh, pretty much the same as before. So we're doing uh, C, G, A flat, and E flat. So because it doesn't change, I'm just gonna go ahead and play it with two hands so you have an idea how it would sound with two hands. So if you would like to see me do a tutorial on the riff uh, of the chorus, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below so I can do a part two for this uh, same song. That concludes the tutorial. We hope it was easy to follow along. If you learned something new, please give us a like. At the same time, for another piano tutorial, you can click or tap over here. If you wanna take your piano skills a little bit further, you can click or tap over here. We'll see you guys on the next one.